So we have done a lot of reporting on this troubled agency, especially when it comes to staffing shortages. Tonight, we've learned the situation has gotten so bad, the agency is offering a new incentive to its employees. They'll each get $800 bonuses every month just for showing up to work. Our Delia Gonzalez is live at the Office of Unified Communications tonight in D. This is just the latest bad news for an agency that's struggling to correct a number of other issues. What's happening here? That's right, Zoe. You understand that when the city's 911 system does not work smoothly, it has a major impact on so many people because it puts people's lives in danger. As you mentioned in that intro, there's a long history of problems here at OUC. Crews being sent to wrong addresses, calls being placed on hold, and of course, this recent glitch with the computer-aided dispatch. Now, the agency has not linked the death of that five-month-old baby earlier this month to the computer failures, but they are investigating. And now the latest problem. We're hearing that OUC is struggling just to get people to come into work to answer those emergency calls. When OUC Director Heather McGaffin testified before a council oversight hearing back in February, she boasted about filling 40 vacancies in her first year on the job. But six months later, more staffing problems. WUSA 9 has learned Director McGaffin emailed all OUC employees offering an $800 monthly bonus if they show up to all scheduled shifts. This is a desperation move, clearly. We requested an interview with Director McGaffin and details on just how many people are calling out. A spokesperson sent us a statement and said, saying in part, quote, staffing is crucial to the success of the agency, and we will continue to explore ways to enhance agency performance while being good stewards of district resources. Former WSA 9 reporter and public safety blogger Dave Statter has been tracking failures at OUC for five Five years now. They've been way overworked at OUC because they're so short staffed. And some of those people on the floor, they work their shift and then are required to work another six hours. The Office of Unified Communication is the fourth busiest center in the country, handling over 1.7 million 911 calls last year alone. The agency's public dashboard indicates each shift now has a fourth supervisor, but in July, 58 out of the 66 total shifts did not meet staffing levels. WUSA 9 has learned the average salary for a call taker is $50,000. Councilmember Brooke Pinto, chair of the Judiciary and Public Safety Committee, sent us a statement saying, quote, it is absolutely critical that our essential workers are fairly compensated for their work. I'm concerned about the trend of low staffing levels we are seeing at OUC and am urging the agency to explore additional solutions and incentives to improve our staffing levels. This is a big problem. 911 should answer. It's not. And this shows that the problem is not going away anytime soon. A spokesperson from the OUC says they continue to work on recruitment, retaining, and offering incentive bonuses and hiring bonuses to folks here at the agency. In the meantime, Councilmember Pinto says she's looking at legislation to force the agency to do the right thing and to make these changes to improve outcomes because she says certainly emergency response is too important not to do so. We're live in Southeast, Celia Gonsalves, WUSA 9. Yeah, Dia had to call 911 for someone in my neighborhood who needed help not too long ago and I was on hold for at least three minutes. They have to fix this problem quickly. Delia, thank you.